Our next character in our Challenging Workplace Characters series is Eggshells Edgar or Elizabeth. Now I have to tell you that just about every department and certainly every organization has one or more of these individuals. This happens to be the individual that everyone's afraid of. They're afraid to approach them. They're afraid to ask them for help. They're certainly afraid to offer constructive criticism to them. These individuals can be intimidators. They may very well have an axe to grind with someone. Often it's you as the manager. And frankly, their behavior can be a bit disrespectful and it's uncomfortable. Well, what's the usual response that so many have? And I've been here as well. Frankly, it's avoidance, right? We don't really want to invite ourselves into those circumstances where we have to navigate those individuals. So we just let them own and let them on their own. And I hear variations of, of that all of the time in the workplace. A manager saying, oh, you know, that's just Edgar. We'll, we'll leave him in his, uh, his spot over here. He does a great job for us. He just doesn't like to collaborate. I heard one of those recently, in fact. So, well, here's what I want you to do when you're dealing with your eggshells, Elizabeth or Edgar. First of all, I want you to make the statement to yourself, no more walking on eggshells. I'm done with that. You don't have a reason to continue to have to do that. I actually want you to plan a feedback discussion. I want you to take time to sit down and think through and offer some form of feedback to the individual. And the feedback is, when I approach you on this particular topic, you're resistant to my ideas. You're resistant to my input. That doesn't allow me to do my job as a manager. Some variation of that is really powerful. And guess what? It kind of breaks the ice. It's not going to make them respect you. You're not going to cure this problem. You may never cure the issue of respect with the individual, but you do need to find some shared common ground. And the shared common ground is, hey, you know, you may have an issue with me. You may not like me in this process, but we do have to work together. And I'm here to do the best things for the company, for the department, for the unit, for the project, whatever it happens to be. You're an important part of this process, and we must find a way to work together. I'll give some control to the individual. So I've run into the eggshells types of person before. Sometimes they just don't want to be bothered at a certain part of the day. Guess what? I'll take that in a second. I won't bother them. If, they, if they're a morning person, they want to focus on their work, and the last thing they want to do is talk to a manager at that point in time, I'm going to give them all morning, and we'll set up our follow-on discussions. Some actually want to feel more appreciation, so it's back to that empathy issue. Maybe they feel disrespected. They feel underappreciated. If you've recently been promoted into a managerial role, for all you know, they wanted the position that you're in and they feel resentful of the fact that you're in that position. So once again, I want you to focus on first, making a commitment to yourself to stop walking on the eggshells, right? You're going to have to crush a few eggs in this process. I want you to sit down and have a thoughtful, behavioral, focused feedback discussion with the individual and you can't pull your punches and you don't want to sandwich the feedback. You don't want to say, hey, you do a great job, but you're not giving me the help that I need and every time I approach you, you don't want to start out. You don't have to start with that compliment. If you have questions about that, I've got a lot of content at my Management Excellence blog on that. No sandwiching that feedback, please. I want you to find a shared interest, which is often you know, mutual success, success of the unit, the project, or the team. Give them some control to define the parameters of how you work together. And very importantly, and this is one that oftentimes people forget, set your expectations properly. You may never be best friends. You may never be going to lunch with this individual. You might not be exchanging holiday cards. You don't have to. You just have to find a way to work together effectively. So, okay, from this point on, no more walking on eggshells.